please give a warm welcome to my dear friend, Mr. Quincy Jones. Just got back from China and practiced in my Mandarin. <laughs> Ni hao. <laughs> anyway, I am very happy to be here today. I got a call from my friend, uh, Alan Kay. I've known for a couple of minutes. And I'm happy to be here today for ACM things. Thank you, Newton. No, share, share. <laughs> Uh, for, to be here for the ACM uh, Computers and Entertainment Scholarship Award, and I congratulate all of the students that are paying attention and know the power of soul and science, because you know when your soul will drive the science and you're getting the science together. No, that's my passion, is what education is all about. Um, I remember Newton came to my house about three years ago, in uh, I guess 2003, and uh, they asked me to join the magazine's editorial board, and uh, I saw some of my friends there, one man, my brother from another mother, since before electricity, Alan Kay, <laughs> who I just adore and has been my guru for years. I remember when he first told me about the internet, I thought he was smoking Kool-Aid. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> Because, you know, he was telling me about the binary numbers, and I know that started back in Egypt, and, my God, in 3500 BC, permutation of two numbers. But, I mean, this application caught me off guard. Anyway, it's here. And uh, I said I'd be glad to be, absolutely be glad to be a part of this, uh, this uh, incredible program that's going on here. Thank you again. Uh, since its debut in 2003, the nonprofit magazine has done a lot promoting education in the entertainment technology, which is growing by exponentially, like by leaps and bounds, including computer games, movies, and music. And that's the, one of the reasons that uh, when Alan said to show up, I, that's why I'm here, because education is my passion. We've uh, uh, been around the world three times this year, and I've been traveling for doing it for 52 years. And I'm seeing the comps through communications, I'm seeing this common. Number one, what's amazing is Every girl in the world dresses the same. <laughs> it is absolutely incredible. Estonia from Rio or Sao Paulo or, or Anka Wat or, or, or Jimmy's and Monte Carlo, they got those little hip huggers on, you know, <laughs> little stuff hanging on the side and all that. <laughs> Cell phone, you know, the Nikes, the flip flops and so forth. I got six daughters, so I know I'm backwards, you know. But it's amazing how communications just pull this world everywhere on the planet, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Russia, it's amazing, and I, I love what that's about, because we're getting this global gumbo going, and I love that. <laughs> Serious global gumbo. Uh, and uh, in terms of education, I think, I won't get into politics here again, well, don't get me mad, you know, uh, but I was in Baghdad, I go 400,000 miles in the Middle East every year, and we need to reach out now with the knowledge that you people have here, and to reach out and pull these people, everybody back in the family and help them get on their feet. And we won't have to spend all that money on war. Uh, Bono and I, who are partners in crime and a lot of the, a lot of the different things, he's got data. I've got Listen Up Foundation, which we just tied up with Colin Powell and Harvard, and everybody, Alan, everybody's doing their thing, and I love that. Because, but the consolidation is important. And we sat down one night in Dublin and figured out we could educate every child on the planet with what the teenagers in Paris spend on ice cream in four months or what the girls in America spend between, four, 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 between 14 and 18 years old spend on cosmetics. That's 1% of what we just spent over, over there in Iraq. And that, that's what I care about, is education's got to start first. And from there, from there on in, it goes to a lot of other different avenues with what you're doing here. And I am totally supported. After Newton, I created this magazine. He founded a nonprofit institute for education, research, and scholarships to raise funds for these scholarships. So the dream has come true at this first annual scholarship award reception, and I'm so proud and honored that you invited me to be here, and I congratulate each and every one of you. Thank you. We'll always be there for you. Thank you. 